I think it is safe to say that we are all guilty of bullying at times. And in many cases, we don't know that we're actually bullying somebody. I have been personally impacted by bullying, and I remember it as a young person, uh, playing football on the street, you know, touch football, fly football on the street. And, you know, the kids in the neighborhood harassing one, one of the kids, harassing me, using the F word, and not the nice F word. Um, but I'm also a kid and a product from New York City and the Bronx, and so there's a degree of, of tough skin, uh, tough mind, um, confidence in oneself that helps to kind of get beyond that. But if you don't have that, I understand how that sort of behavior and action can affect you down the road. You know, it could manifest in a boss. Now yelling at a person who is an adult who had this bad experience as a young person and that sort of belittling behavior can definitely have an effect on you. One of the glaring ones that stands out is, you know, hanging out in the neighborhood and the older kids in the neighborhood. These guys are teenagers. I'm 12, 13, still just figuring out who I am. And, you know, choosing teams, choosing players for the football team on the block, you know? No, but, oh, no, he's a fag, he's not gonna play, he's, you know, he can't play. That kind of sticks with you. I don't think we're doing enough. I think uh, bullying came up. It continues to be a conversation piece as an aside because what happens in society is everybody believes that somebody else is picking up and doing it. So somebody who maybe had been at the forefront of a bullying campaign, it's off and running. Okay, it's off and running. We no longer have to do it. it yeah, no, somebody continually has to be on top of it, and there always has to be a voice. I think people should get involved with this friendship campaign because uh, of the mission to be gentle, uh, to be compassionate, to be effective. I think it's very important for you to be your own friend first. Um, you know, there, there was a, a technique that was taught when I was taking an acting class years ago, and one of the exercises was to just look in the mirror, look in the mirror and have a love affair with yourself. Once you start looking in that mirror and you say, I love you, I love me, I love your face, I love my face, I love my eyebrows, I love my hair, I love my cheeks, I love my face, I love you. The more you start saying that, that is when you start to believe. And if you can say I love you to yourself, it will be much easier to say I love it to somebody else.